What's going on guys? Welcome to the Whiplashy Sports channel. My name's Ray Day. I'm the owner of Whiplashy Sports and today I have a special video for you. Today I'm going to be covering uh, our team selection process and our official MLG Columbus roster. So this is going to be, uh, I'm going to try to make this video as short as I can, uh, but it was a lengthy process to select our team. It was very unorganized on my part. I just want to admit that, uh, but let's get right into it. So basically, I, I got a team pass, you know, I tweeted out, I was advertising that we were looking for a team, and in a matter of a week, we got an overwhelming amount of emails. We got over 50. So uh, basically, I set a date where I was going to stop taking in team resumes, uh, and that was on a Thursday. And so, starting from that Thursday to the Saturday, I basically reviewed everyone's resumes, and I was trying to eliminate teams however I could. There was a lot of, I don't want to be rude, but there was a lot of worthless uh, resumes, a lot of just people that were very unprofessional, and so on. So, basically what I did was I started looking at placings. So I did the best placings. And I, from that 50, I managed to get rid of about 30, and I broke it down to 20 teams. Uh, from that, those 20, I decided to go by most recent placings. And from that group, from that set of teams, I managed to go down to 12. Then what I did was I spoke with everyone on Skype to see how they were, to see if they were easy to work with, and I began to classify it by strictly ghost placings because we had a lot of teams with a lot of BO2 placings and older placings, which at the time I didn't think was relevant. Uh, and I'm going to get into that at the end of the video. So, basically, I narrowed it down from the 12 to the 8. So, once we had those 8, you know, after a few a few more days of discussing with the, gen the general manager uh, and myself, Haggy, um, we decided that we had three teams in mind. And those, I'm not going to say those teams, but uh, we had three teams in mind. And what we decided to do was to have them play each other and really see how they work as a team, you know, their communication and their rotation. Because obviously, Ghost is a totally different game, so we weren't going to care about the placing, we weren't going to care, I mean, not the placing, we weren't going to care about who won, we were just going to see how they played as a team and the chemistry, because that's what I feel is very important coming into the new Call of Duty. Uh, so, before I did that though, a lot of the people from the, from the set of eight were contacting me, and me being the nice guy that I am, I was too generous and I hosted an online ghost tournament. Now this was a huge mistake. It would have worked out in some way because it would have been a great way for again me to see like the chemistry. Again, it's ghosts. It's all about hosts. I understand that. It's totally different. Ghost is going to be nothing like Advanced Warfare, but I just wanted to see and measure out the chemistry. However, a lot of the teams that I originally wanted to watch and listen in couldn't participate. So that basically ruins all of it. So I let the teams play until around round three and I called off the 20. So that's when I resorted back to the original three that I had. The original top three. And after discussing with Haggy, the general manager, we decided that there were two teams out of those three that we really like. Now I'm going to go ahead and say huge shout out to at rump underscore underscore. That's his Twitter name. Uh, he's a great individual. So if an, another organization is watching this, be sure to check him out, pick him up for your org, he has great placings. But, what we did was, between him and our roster, uh, consisting of, well, I'll get into the full roster, but the captain is silent. Between Rump and Silent, we were comparing their placings. So, I'm not going to be too specific, but, after analyzing and after getting a few second opinions on all the placings, because again, both of these teams were really solid teams. Uh, when it came to the time being team, they both had a, they will have both been teamed for around the same time, so chemistry and stuff was kind of on was kind of 50-50, but that's another thing because on either team, two of them have been teamed on and off in the past here and there, and you know, they've been trios, so that's that. So basically, we finally decided, again, after getting second opinions, because this was a very, very tough decision. This was the hardest decision I had to make my whole uh, career owning Whiplash. This was a really hard decision because if you guys didn't know, we did not perform as well as we wanted to at 
Uh, Dallas, however, being the circumstances, which I'm not going to get into, we were more than happy. Um, and, yeah. So that's that. Okay? So that basically sums up everything. Okay? That's what we did when we were selecting our teams. So, I have to admit, it was very unorganized. I was questioning myself. I was questioning everything that I decided. Like, I was very hesitant. That's the correct way to say it. Um, and I regret that. Uh, I should have just gone with my instinct. But, in the end, uh, we decided to go with the squad uh, uh, consisting of Silent as the team captain, Grover, um... Borda and Scoot. Um, they uh, attended multiple Michigan lands. Uh, and honestly, when, when it came down to the Michigan lands, we really don't consider local lands when in team resumes. But they've been to multiple you know, lands. A few of them met each other, played against e each other. Uh, Silent is probably one of the top players. Um, he has multiple Black Ops 2 placings. A lot of experience with other orgs. He's a great individual. Grover, the same thing. Borda, I, I heard he's a great player. You know, so individually, they all seem like a solid squad. I'm hoping, and I'm not going to know this until the actual event is here, that I made the right decision. However, me being owner, me going through this decision, I feel more than confident that I did. So again, Rump's team, they have great potential, great placings, they're a great squad. But I personally just decided to go with Silence team. So again, our official MLG Columbus 2014 roster consist of Silent, Grover, Borda, and Scoot. So, that pretty much sums up this whole entire video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, welcome to the Whiplash Esports channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.